Yo, what's up guys, Anubhav here and welcome back to a brand new video. See, the thing is, we make so many videos on applications that you should download that it is very important that every now and then we take a step back and actually talk about applications that will make your online experience safer. There's a lot of bad things on the internet and if you're not careful or if you're especially young like a teenager or a kid and you watch my videos or others, there's a couple of things that you should know, a couple of applications that I could suggest that you could install on your phone to make things a lot more secure. So in today's video, that is what we're talking about, a couple of best security applications for your Android device based on different categories that we'll be covering in this video. So with that said, if this video topic interests you, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so the first category that I want to talk about are password managers. Now, I have to say this again and again, but gone are the days where you keep one password for all your accounts and if somebody finds that password out or breaches somehow your secret password code, all your accounts are lost and you could have banking information attached to them and just so much more is at stake when you set up your own password. So what I would suggest is keeping an offline password manager in your phone. That way, all you have to do is set Set a password for that manager whenever you open it you can also enable it to have biometric authentication and that application is gonna keep all your passwords for all your social media accounts and any other account saved in it now Apps like this are of various categories and sizes. So you could use something like I use, which is Dashlane, but Dashlane is paid and they do have a couple of really nice cloud features, but you don't really have to necessarily pay for something like this. There are free and open source apps called KeePass and others that of course I'll link in the description below. KeePass is one of them and you can use them. It's completely offline, totally open source, very secure. And one of the best features of applications like this is the fact that there are also password generators generators in them which make like really complex passwords with a lot of different characters and symbols that a normal human could never remember and you don't have to because the password manager will actually save that password for you so no matter what kind of password manager you use that is up to you you can do your own research but i would highly suggest to use one so that you know your data can be a little more secure and your passwords can be a little more complex okay second category of applications are app lockers now whether you use this to hide sensitive photos or videos or you use this to hide certain applications like social media apps especially if you have a kid at home or if you want to share your phone with somebody else app lockers can be a great way to hide private things on your phone from other people now you can use different types of methods again to do this now i would suggest using an open source application called amarok you can find it on the f droid store as well as in the link in the description below it's a really cool app all you have to do is make sure that either your phone is rooted don't worry even if it is not rooted you can go to settings and run a shizuku command watch my open source app video if you don't know how to do that and then basically you'll be able to use the app in the app you can lock any application so that it will disappear completely from your home screen you won't be able to see it anywhere and of course you can also hide files as well as other folders in your phone storage now you can do this proprietarily also for example if you have a samsung phone and you have the secure folder app you can log in with your samsung account hide apps as well as files or you can do it on your launcher as well where your app drawer will just get rid of that application and it will not appear inside your launcher settings so these are a couple of ways where you can hide apps and hide different kinds of folders but again this is a really nice way to keep your phone secure especially if you have some sensitive data on it and well guys, last but not the least is the main category that I would suggest for all parents as well as all employees who have different smartphones or gadgets on your employers or on your kid, let's say. And these are parental control applications. Now, when we talk about parental control apps, mSpy again comes forward as one of the best parental control apps out there. mSpy is really good because it lets you monitor everything. But before we talk about that, just a quick little disclaimer, and that is that mSpy is only supposed to be used used by parents or employers so basically the legality of this is that if you use it for your child who is under your care and under the age of 18 it's completely legal and free to use but if you use it on another adult without their consent that is against the law and we don't condone that and neither does mSpy with that said let me tell you about their cool features that includes a screen recorder that takes screenshots of chats that you might want to monitor there is a social media monitoring tab that shows you different kinds of monitoring 
monitoring of different applications like WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Kick, and others. There's also call log monitoring, location monitoring, so that you can set safe zones for your kid and also see the locations that they were at in case you want to, you know, keep a track of when they get home from school or what are the locations that they visited. Overall, if you're looking for a parental control app to, you know, enhance your child's security, especially if they are young and they have a smartphone, I think MSpy is one of the best apps to do that with. All these links will be linked in the description below. And those were, I would say, three main categories, password managers, parental control apps, and different kinds of app lockers. With a combination of them, you can have a really secure experience online and you don't have to be scared of anything. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And once again, a huge shout out to MSpy for collaborating with us on this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care, have a great day, stay safe, and bye-bye.